hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can customize a notification notification you might have used in several implementation so for example in the push notification you need to create a notification so you might have used the default notification but i'll show you how you can customize that notification so first of all i am adding a button in my main activity where i'll be showing i'll be creating or showing a notification in the notification tray so in the main activity i'm just simply handling its notification button click and now i'm going to create a function show notification where i'm going to write a code how you can uh, show a notification so first of all i'm going to show you how you can use the native or the default notification then i'll show you how you can customize that notification with your own layout so first of all we need to have the notification manager object then we need a builder and the first parameter is the application context and second parameter is the channel id so let's define a channel id and in this builder we'll set the icon what icon we want to display in the notification tray so i have already downloaded an icon that is inside my drawable and then we'll set simple a title what do you want to show as a title in our notification so you can dynamically pass this text but i'm currently doing hard coding and same way we can set the content view that is the uh, content text that is the body of that notification and if sdk is more than o android o then we need to give the channel name and the channel id So we need to get the instance of notification channel by passing the channel id which you defined above and the channel name which you need which you can see inside the native settings and then the importance so I'm giving as the default you can set high or low and we can enable the vibration if you want to there are more parameter but I'm just going with these two parameter only and now we'll call notification manager dot create notification channel and pass this channel object and then we will set this channel id to our builder and now simply we will call builder.build that will be the notification and then notification manager dot notify So let's run our application and see so i'm clicking on this button you can see the notification so this is the default notification i'm showing you currently you might have used in your application so let me show you again so the same notification you can see with the same title and the body
now i'll show you how you can customize that notification so first of all we need to create a layout file the way we want to show our notification to look like so you can give any name i'm giving custom notification layout And in this layout, I'm simply adding an image view on the left hand side and the two, two text view on the right hand side of the image. You can add, you can adjust this layout according to you. So I'm adding the image, what I'm showing in the notification tray so i am adding the same image for the image view and to text view we can give the id and we can set some color padding and text size or style yeah And similarly, another text view, I'm giving the different ID for that and then we'll adjust its size or we'll removing the ID or style. So we'll use this layout for our notification. Now in our main activity where we define a default notification so first thing we need to create a instance of remote views remember it should be remote views and then we'll pass the first parameter as package name and second parameter is our xml file what we just now created and the next line will be setting the text to our title so we need to pass the id which we gave just now text view title and we'll pass the message whatever we want to display you can make it dynamic currently i'm hard coding it similarly we need to set the description so we need to change this id to description And now we'll simply set this content view to our builder. Set custom content view and then we'll pass this content view. And we'll set the builder object dot set content and we'll pass our content view. that's it now let's run and see so i'm clicking on button you see so you can see the image on left and to text you whatever text we pass from the main activity i'm simply adding the text color also so that we can differentiate the title there you go so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you have any question please ask me in the comment section thank you